What we need to understand is that a large part of what affects society is services, service delivery, and they relate to infrastructure functionality. And uh, this is where I believe engineers have a very strong role to play. Uh, it is no secret that there may well be engineers already in government, but, and no disrespect to them, it is unfortunate that many of them might not have had the requisite exposure to the experience and the delivery process. Uh, invariably what has happened is they might have gone into government at an early stage of their career and spent uh, the most part of their working life building up expertise in administration of government as opposed to the delivery of infrastructure. So this is where we believe that the engineers have a, a stronger role that could be played and specifically engineers with the experience and the skills on the delivery and what's required to look after uh, um, uh, the infrastructure that is in place. Now, another point I could make as well is often there is the supposition that engineers are techies and they could never survive in a political environment. I would argue that there are sufficient engineers who have the engineering background and technical knowledge and the political savvy to navigate all of the above. And so maybe there needs to be a consideration for people with that dual skill sets to add that kind of value. The starting point for all of that is to remove the trust deficit that exists between government and the private sector. Uh, it is unfortunate that we found that, say, consulting engineering companies have had to be put in a position where you've got to competitively bid for work and uh, whoever bids the lowest gets the project and, and, and so there's an overly aggressive tendency towards that and a lack of understanding for the value of the services and the actual value proposition that paying what something is worth or is worth paying for. Uh, and, and, and if we're going to change that narrative, we will need to get closer to each other as private sector through the consulting engineering companies and the other built environment professions and government because there is a deficiency of numbers in terms of competent people with the requisite experience within the private sector, in the public sector. And we, there is just no other way to achieve what we hope to. I mean, we've listened to some of the speakers and if we look at that tsunami of projects that we need as a country to take off, otherwise um, we can have water insecurity, uh, we will have longer periods of load shedding extended and, um, and many other issues um, and that's not even talking about the fact that we spend a lot of time talking about catalyzing our economic growth through infrastructure development but the pace of the rollout is less than glacial speed and uh, we, we believe that the private sector through consulting engineering companies and, and the uh, aligned uh, built environment professions can certainly add to increasing that speed. We heard Minister talk about there isn't a short of money, a shortage of money. The money is there, but the people don't know how to spend it. And one of the other speakers said, because of the consequences, because they, uh, since they're not sure of how to spend it properly, they'd rather not spend it, which is equally corrupt. Because why then is that money then going a begging where people are still having sewage flowing down their roads and uh, power outages um, and, 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 and just litter all over their neighborhoods. We host this event as a deliberate uh, initiative to get that conversation going. Bring in industry players, bring in uh, uh, people who are close enough to making those decisions or, or influencing them and, and other interested uh, parties so we can have this dialogue because we, we believe that uh, they, there aren't enough opportunities to ventilate this where we can, it can be heard and it can be publicized as we are doing now to 
to broader audiences who might not have attended the conference to, to um, have, have been a part of the discussion and the conversations we have. But I mean the key message and the key appeal and reason we want to have these and what we would like to come out of this is that we need to get to the point of doing things. We've been talking for far too long and uh, best we stop talking and get on with the job of getting our country back onto uh, the path that it should be.